Okay, hello Taurus. Let's see what messages we have for you. We're at a different angle here, so you guys let me know what you think about this angle. Alright. Let's see what message do we have from a Taurus Taurus? get one card from the ancestors um ancestors oracle just to lead the reading i hope you guys are doing well i love you thank you for um checking into this video don't forget to like the video and subscribe wow okay so we have psychic strength shield talisman and gold light so right now you should know that you're very much so protected i feel like you have a lot of um your third eye your crown chakra i gotta get used to being able to see how you guys can see the cards but yeah we have um psychic strength here so you could be finding yourself wearing a lot of hats or like head coverings covering your crown chakra feeling protected in some type of way i'm hearing the hermit card all right you could be finding different ways to i don't know why i'm saying mushrooms okay so somebody could be doing shrooms or something like that um but you should be protecting your psychic energies at this time is what i'm getting all right or doing some type of shielding but i feel like this is very so unconscious however you're doing this protection and we have yeah clear your mind be present focus embrace all right, let's move that off. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get into the tarot here. What is this message for Taurus? Psychic strength. So a lot of a lot of crown chakra energy, a lot of third eye. I'm getting your psychic abilities are very heightened at this time. Yeah, we see the high priestess and the devil. Hmm. Interesting. What's this message here for Taurus? What do you want them to know? I truly feel like one of the main things right now is that you're very open psychically or you maybe have been doing some baths. You've been cleaning your energies. You've been clearing your space. I'm getting they want you to continue doing that. But at the same time, there's a need for protection because you're so clear. Wow. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. So I'm getting, um, ooh. Okay. So right at the back, I'm seeing that you may have been dealing with uh, some type of animosity or people feeling some type of way about you or some type of um i feel like your ancestors have seen this so your spirit dies ten of pentacles this is a lot of times for me unless there's other cards in the deck that signify like money or something this can be your spiritual team i feel like you have a bit a, a strong body of them right now okay <laughs> a strong a, a large amount of them at this time trying to get that off the glare but yeah i feel like they've seen somebody has seen what you're going through okay this could be literal spiritual guidance okay or spiritual guys around you or this could be really just people in your family who have your back about something yeah you're you're getting served justice in some type of way spirit is like nah that's not happening too many people love my Taurus. yeah yeah that's not happening Okay, so Ten of Pentacles, you could be noticing that money's money is coming your way. You could be noticing um because something has been cleared. Some type of karma or some, something that somebody was trying to send your way is what I'm getting. So you, you could be noticing like a lot of good luck or like some type of windfall coming towards you because um how do I explain that? I'm really feeling like an evil eye has been turned, you know, has been removed or something. So, like, your luck's coming back in or something. <sighs> Bro. Did y'all see the way that flipped over? 
yeah like i said this the seven of swords this um whatever this is has been turned the other way there you are queen of pentacles three of cups Yeah, somebody was trying to do you dirty or somebody was trying to um yeah and you did not react four of cups it's like you didn't react you didn't um give in to something here you didn't fight fire with fire what did michelle obama say they go low i go high wow look as i split the day the wheel of fortune and the ten of pentacles i'm telling you it's time now you're Something is something beautiful is uh, changing the air shifting. You're being back put on the, the, the top of the wheel or I don't know. I feel like fortune is really coming into your favor right now because of the way you handle something or because of how your spiritual team handles something. Okay. Or your, your spiritual goons or something like that. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Let's see message for Taurus. Wow. We have the Ace of Wands. Clarifying the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm seeing some some type of um. Yeah, we got the Hermit exactly. I'm hearing like through the fog, a flame was lit or something. What? <laughs> I'm also hearing um. I forget what that movie is called. Like the Sanderson Sisters or something. And they're like you know. Somebody lit the flame or something like that. Yeah, okay, Ten of Pentacles, or you're lighting a candle for your ancestors or something. The Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, there's something here where you took your time, because this is the second time I saw the Knight of Pentacles. I usually don't really love the Knight of Pentacles, but um, I'm also getting something that you have been waiting for is happening, okay? You've been waiting for this payout, you've been waiting for this money, you've been waiting for something here and it's coming through you were very patient it took a while but something some, something is um coming through here what else for tours Ooh. wow the star you guys i cannot make it up the star card okay i wish there was a better way that you guys could see this like this card is so beautiful i don't really know how to get a good picture of it but anyway yeah, something is being healed here. For sure. We have the three of wands. Yeah, something you were waiting for. You knew that this was coming in, though. You knew your time was going to come. You waited patiently. You had a lot of faith in whatever this is. Something about this star card, though. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. I also feel like there's a lot of people, like the star card has a bunch of women here dancing in the stars, then there's help here, then the ten of pentacles, there's like help coming in. What's the seven of swords reverse? This tomfoolery that somebody thought they were getting away with. Ooh. We have the queen of swords, like I said. You know you need to cut it. Cut it out, whoever this is. Cut it out. If you don't, Taurus is going to cut it for you, baby. Yeah. You need to cut it. <laughs> I also heard it ain't nothing to cut that off. Okay. Yeah, somebody, what, what else is this? The Taurus, I just saw 9-11 on the clock. We have the, um... The Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles reverse. So you're no longer giving to somebody who was full of it. I don't really, I can't, it could have been a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It definitely could have been an Aquarius. Um, I'm not really sure. It's like this person didn't want to give to you or they had an opportunity I didn't want to share with you. But I'm also eating, you've passed the test as well. You did not give to this person. But I'm getting somebody, they could definitely be an Aquarius here, this person. Yeah, something is not going to work out for this individual. Something's not going to work out for this person. I'm getting somebody quite bitter. 
What did I say? The Eight of Cups. It's like the people that they thought they had against you were actually leaving them. Um, somebody, I just heard somebody left with their money. I don't know. It's like somebody tried to get like a group of people against you or something like that. And uh, at the end of the day, they're like, nah, actually we're leaving. We're not even, we don't even mess with you no more. Or we're going back to Taurus or something. What's the Eight of Cups? person is going to be very heartbroken that you've left wow the hanged man all right so it could be a pisces yeah there you are the uh king of pentacles hmm So this person is going off they're going to try to i hear wrong their rights this person is trying to wrong their rights yeah the four at the four of pentacles but you're holding back you're holding back information anyway long story short somebody knows that they fucked up all right we're not going to go into them what's the three of cups so now somebody's here celebrating i do feel like this is your spiritual team what's the three of cups Or just somebody's on in the dog chair, like somebody's in time out or something like that. So, but... <laughs> wow, the three of cups is a tower. Yeah, somebody. Oh my god, Taurus, listen, look at that confirmation right there. Three of cups again at the bottom of the deck. Something has ended, and I feel like there is a, a yeah, look, the emperor, the eight of pentacles. Yo, you're here, something. Taurus is really about to work out for you. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like there's a lot of. I mean, do I lie? Really though. I feel like there is a lot of spiritual team around you, or spirit, spirit guides, or ancestors, somebody who are here celebrating your victory. That something is over. That that something has ended. You've broken some type of karma, or um, yeah, that something is over. You see the tower. It's like hi, yeah. Something is finished here. Also getting this, somebody was two-faced. Look at her, she got three faces. Somebody had three faces. <laughs> but I'm getting, now you're gonna be able to celebrate in somebody's face or something like that? Yeah, we have the Eight of Pentacles. The Tower, the Eight of Pentacles, um, something very unexpected could be happening at work. We have the Strength card, uh, clarifying the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, the Magician. It's a lot of fire energy. We have Leo and Aries here clarifying the, the Queen of Pentacles. So it's like a lot of action um, when it comes to your finances. Yeah. It's like you're gaining your courage, your confidence back to tackle something. Four of Wands. Hmm. The Eight of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the Three of Pentacles. Now, Taurus... I will say this. There's some type of relationship cycle here. All right. Somebody's going to try to come back in, okay? And, like, offer you to work again with them or offer you to, like, not work. It doesn't have to be, like, when I say work, it doesn't have to be literal work. Like, work on things. Like, be nice again. Kiki, ha ha with them. And it's a toxic cycle, Eight of Cups. It's a cycle that can't be anymore. You're going to be working on this with the Strength card. You know, this is something you're trying to gain strength in. Yeah, Six of Swords, but they want you to move on from that. Leo, but I feel like that's more so your energy. I don't think that's an outside energy here. 
this person could just be hella stubborn we have the magician it showed itself to me in the reverse and what just fell yeah the wheel of fortune Get yeah, the magician, the wheel of fortune. It's time for you to make a new way, a new path. There's there's something new that's coming your way. Ooh, the nine of pentacles. You'll be doing this thing on your own. You'll be doing it by yourself. You have the death card. The two of pentacles. There's a shift here. So let's see, let me clarify this with a couple oracle cards. This is just a general reading. If you guys want a personal, you can email me. It's in the description box below. So let's get it. Um, we haven't used these in a long time. Let's get an animal or insect, animal and or insect with a crystal. <laughs> So what do I call these? Okay, the animal allies oracle. But there's insects in here too, so. Message for Taurus. Ooh, we have an eagle. All right, so you guys could definitely, um, feel connected to the eagle or the hawk okay but ego says i am awakening every day in many ways uh, i enjoy seeking connection with my higher self and observing myself from a higher perspective i have a great clarity i'm a catalyst to awaken awareness of all beings i see clearly now and become aware of profound spiritual truths yeah that's that psychic energy you can see very strongly okay and then the, the stone with it is the window quartz. It says, do you feel connection with the sky above and the earth beneath your feet? Are you aligned with the true spiritual nature? Are you able to see life from a greater perspective? Let your consciousness soar high as you stay grounded. Allow your vision of your future to reach far and wide to align with the past and the present for yourself and others. Okay. So let's go ahead and close out then with the energy oracle, which is what we never do, but it's fine. Let's close out last message here for the first. Ooh. Message for the first. So you're extremely spiritually connected at this time. Like you're just very, um, you know what you know what you know. Like this period. You know what you know. Don't take and guess yourself, Taurus. You're very, very um, intuitive. But you have to believe your intuition. We have the second chakra, Archangel Ariel. Wow. And we have storm warning. So a lot of creation coming, um, creativity, wanting to do something different, wanting to create something new, wanting to build a new path or forge a new path. All right, I'm getting that some of you guys have an idea that you want to, it's very, um, what's the word? Uh, like when you want to do something to help the world, I'm getting a lot of Aquarius energy. You want to do something where it's connected to other people and we have attachment. Yeah. Okay. So there's somebody here. 